All right. Uh, so it's clear the the law does require that you know crypto holders pay tax. Um, Nixon, le let me ask. Um, now, for for someone who's approaching taxation, then say uh, a crypto exchange, then uh, now now that they are required to pay tax, um, how are they supposed to remit that tax? I I think this is a question you've 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 gotten before. How do you pay tax when sure. the Kenyan government will not even allow you to say open a bank account or or run you know a traditional? <laughs> I, I agree. I know there's a wider uh, discussion on how that can be managed, uh, but we'll, re we'll discuss when we get there. <clears throat> you know, the Central Bank of Kenya said, gave an advisory that let banks not deal directly with the crypto exchanges so that you cannot use your bank account to on-ramp or to buy shares, or to buy the, the, the tokens or to buy the cryptocurrency. But you know, David, uh, some very funny thing is uh, there are case laws in Kenya and the rest of the world that says even if an activity is illegal, tax is not illegal. It is to ensure that even those who are earning through whichever means contribute their fair share of tax uh, to the development of our country. So what basically happens is uh, if CDPK gave an advisory, and remember they didn't say it is illegal, they only say it, you can't transact directly with the banks. But Kenyans have a way of transacting, whether through M-Pesa, through international uh, you know, payment channels, PayPal and the like. And therefore, they're engaging in the activity. And because they're engaging in an economic activity, it is also fair that they also contribute uh, to the development of Kenya. And the method of how they do comply is by the exchange themselves managing the whole process for them i think that is a simplification in this law instead of you looking for from Dogecoin coin to a stable coin then to a fiat uh, let the exchange do that for you because the exchange will be collecting so many of, of the digital asset tax from several players and then remitting it to kenya revenue authority and david it has been done i think uh, maybe later we'll speak there are taxpayers who are already paying uh, the tax so we believe then this, the process is not as others as maybe somebody might think all right. Uh, I I believe I think the the last time we talked, you also said people can come to your office and you can advise them on how to to pay the taxes. Definitely, definitely. We are available. We are here. <laughs> All right. We uh, can even use Twitter Space. We can be on Twitter Space and explain uh, the process. <laughs>